Well, during her weekly press conference, U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi shed some light on how Democrats plan to get President Biden's multi-trillion dollar infrastructure and jobs bill passed. It's le legislation she hopes to get onto the president's desk before Congress goes on summer break. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has more. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi backed the White House's pitch to split its infrastructure plan into two separate bills, one emphasizing on roads, bridges, and broadband, while another focusing on human infrastructure, such as housing. We hope to do this in the most bipartisan way possible. Infrastructure has not been a partisan issue in the past. We hope that it would not be now. But the speaker says if it can't be done with Republican support, the Senate could get the bills passed through reconciliation, a simple majority vote. But that would require total party unity. And Democratic Senator Joe Manchin believes the reconciliation process threatens stable governing. I've watched people that had power and abused it. I've watched people that sought power and destroyed themselves. And I've watched people that had a moment of time to make a difference and change things and used it. I would like to be that third. Progressives like Senator Bernie Sanders say he doesn't expect Republicans will agree to spending anything close to what's needed, like money for climate change. I think the vast majority of the American people understand that climate change is an existential threat to the planet. Republicans are speaking out. Senator Ted Cruz tweeted with sarcasm, abortion, gun control, forced unionization is infrastructure. Whatever the left wants is infrastructure. He adds only 5% of President Biden's infrastructure bill is for roads and bridges, and he's not alone. We've actually got formulas in place for distribution on roads and bridges and water and so forth. That's all infrastructure. But when you start talking about the add-on items and pretend like they can, you can now talk about people as being infrastructure, I don't like that. Speaker Pelosi hopes to get at least the roads and bridges portion of the infrastructure bills to the Senate by July 4th. But if any more Democrats side with Republicans, that may be a difficult task to pass it. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.